Okay, so we'll talk about Raven crypto system, which is based on the uh, what is called Chinese remainder theorem and uh, quadratic residue. So uh, before going to the Chinese remainder theorem, we want to see what is a what is the uh, how to solve the system of linear equation modulo p. So system of linear equation modulo some p or n. So, basically we have some si uh, system of linear equation say a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2 x 3 a 1 n x n equal to b 1. This is first equation and the second equation is this a 2 2 x 2 plus dot 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 a 2 n x n equal to b n dot 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 suppose there are m equations. So, a m 1 x 1 plus m 2 x 2 a m n x n equal to sorry this is b 2 b m. So, this is this is a system of equation there are m equations n unknowns. So, this we can write in the matrix form as you know a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 n a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 n a m 1 a m 2 a m n and then this is the x vector and corresponding we have b vector there are m equations and this is modulo n means we are taking each is each of a i j is coming from z n. So, and so and also b i j is coming from z n. So, we have to find the solution for this. So, we have to find x i j such that which is coming from z n which satisfy this system of equations. So, that is the problem. So, to solve this we know we have to check the rank of the augmented matrix is same as rank of the matrix and so, those are the concept there. So, let us take a simple example how we can solve uh, this type of system of linear equations modulo some prime. Okay. So, we will take an example. So, Suppose we have this system 4 x plus 7 y equal to 9 and 5 x plus 2 y equal to 3 and we have to solve this system of equations modulo 13. So, our n is equal to that see modulo 13. So, how we can solve this system? So, we can multiply this by 4 inverse mod 13 and then uh, so this is equation number 1 equation number 2. So, basically 4 inverse mod 13 is basically how much 10 because if you multiply 10 with 4 it is 40 then if you take the mod 13 it is 1. So, that is basically 10. So, we multiply this with this 10. So, this will be so 1 become x plus then this is 10 into 7. So, this is basically uh, 10 into 7. So, we multiply this equation by 10 that means 4 inverse mod 13. So, 10 into 4 x plus 7 y is equal to 10 into 9 and every operation is under mod 13. And similarly, we know that 5 inverse mod 13 is how much? 5 inverse mod 13 is basically 8. So, what we do? Uh, so, then we multiply this equation by 8. So, 8 into 5 x plus 2 y is equal to 8 into 3 mod 13. Every operation is under mod 13. So, if we just 
multiply this, we will be getting two equations x plus 5 y equal to 12, this is coming from this equation and from here we are getting x plus 3 y equal to 11. Now, if you subtract, we are getting 2 y equal to 1. Now, y is equal to 2 inverse mod 13. So, this is basically 2 inverse basically 7, because 2 inverse mod 13 is basically 7. So, we got y as 7. Okay. So, now once we have the y, then we can put this value into one of this equation either this or this and we should able to get x. So, then x is basically, so from here x is basically 12 minus 5 y. So, 12 minus 5 into 7. So, under mod 13. So, this will give us 3. Okay. So, basically we got x equal to 3. So, this two, this is the solution of the this system of equation modulo 13. Okay. So, now if we want to uh, if we try to solve this in matrix form. So, and we have to perform the matrix operation like row operation column operation. So, we can try that also. So, our equation is basically what if our equation is 4 x plus 7 y equal to 9 and 5 x plus 2 y equal to 3. So, this we can write as 4 7 5 2 and if you take the augmented matrix this, this is the. So, we have to perform the uh, operation on this matrix and we have to row operation and we have to make this 1 0 uh, 0 1 then that will give us the solution. So, to do that what we do we perform the row operation. So, basically we perform R 2 is going to R 2 minus R 1 and if we do that we will be getting this R 1 is remain same R 2 is. So, 1 minus 5 minus 6. Now, this has to be under mod 13. So, if you take the mod 13, so this will be basically 4 7 9, this is 1, this 15 is basically 8 and this 6 is basically 7 under mod 13. So, now this is the current position of that augmented matrix. Now, we have to uh, make it. Uh, so, now we have to perform uh, R 1 is going to uh, R R 1 minus 4 R 2. So, R 1 is going to R 1 minus 4 R 2. If you do so, we will be getting 0 1 7 1 8 7. Okay. So, now we have I, we want to make it 0. So, for that we have to perform this operation and every time we are doing mod 13. So, we are doing R, R, R 2 minus. So, this we multiply by 8 and then R 2 is going to R 2 minus 8 R 1. If you do so, then we are getting 0 1 1 so, from here also we can say x equal to 7 sorry x equal to 3 and y is equal to 7. So, this way also we can solve this, but every time our operation should be modular operation under that uh, here it is 13 in general it is n or p under that p. Okay. Now, the Chinese remainder theorem so, basically we want to have a uh, system of modular equation and we want to we have more than one equation and we want to solve that. Say for example, suppose we have this is one equation a mod n 
and x is congruent to b mod n. So, this two is the modular equation we have and here we are assuming g c d of m n r 1. So, that means, m is relatively prime this symbol we can use as relatively prime to n both are relatively prime to each other. Suppose, we have this type of system then what is the solution. So, Chinese remainder theorem will give us the solution not only one system we have we may have many system. So, but let us start with one system. So, how we can solve it. So, let us take an example like uh, say uh, we have x is congruent to 3 mod 5 and x is congruent to say 5 mod 7. Okay. So, now we want to have a this is equation 1 equation 2. So, we want to have a solution for this system. So, we want to find the value x which satisfy both the equation. So, the x which satisfy equation 1 are basically all the integers from this 3 8 all the integer which we uh, try to divide by 5 remainder should be 3. So, 3 8 13 18 23, 28, 33, 38, so on. So, this is the all x which satisfying equation 1. Okay. Now, similarly, so this is say a set a 1. So, this is the all x satisfying equation 1. Similarly, we can find the all x which satisfying this equation 2. So, those are basically all the integer if we divide it by 7 it should give us 5. So, 5, 12, 19, 26, 33, 40 like this A 2. So, A 2 is the set where all the all the values satisfy equation 2. Now, we want the solution which satisfying both the equations. So, that is basically the intersection a 1 intersection a 2. So, this one is the uh, a x which satisfying both the equation. So, this is basically uh, 33. So, this is basically any two number any two element in this uh, intersection differ by a multiple of uh, 35. So, any two any two element element in a 1 intersection a 2 differ uh, differ by a multiple of 37 which is basically this 5 into 7. Okay, that we can easily verify if you take any two uh, point then they should differ by a uh, they will be differ by a this. So, this is the 37 is the solution for this 33 33 is the solution for this system mod 35. So, this x is equal to x is congruent to 33 mod 35. So, this is the solution for this system of equation. Now, you can easily verify this is because this is satisfy this equation, this is also satisfy this equation. So, this is the neighbor way, but we need to know uh, how we can in general how we can get the solution. So, suppose we have the equation like this the general form a, a x is congruent to a mod n and also x is congruent to b mod n. So, now we want to find out the we want to find out the solution for uh, this. So, so say we are taking this as equation 1 we are taking this as equation 2. Now, the x satisfying equation 1 will be of this form x equal to a plus some t into m where t is a positive integer, where t, uh, t is an integer 
Okay, so any any uh, so any x of this form is a solution of is a solution of solution sorry solution of equation one. Now what we want this to be also solution for equation two then only it with that x will satisfy both. So, we need to find t such that this a plus t m will satisfy this equation also second equations. So, if we have to do that, so a plus t m we need to find t such that. So, if it is satisfying this equation then it should be written as this should be written as b plus b plus some s in t n. Okay. So, now the question is how we can get m. So, we can take this uh, that side. So, t m is equal to b minus a plus s n. Okay. So, now basically if we just so t is basically uh, m inverse b minus a mod n. So, basically we need to find m inverse mod n uh, m inverse mod n yes and then uh, then m n inverse mod n means. So, that inverse with this m will give us this congruent to 1 mod n. So, that is the definition of inverse. So, if m inverse, so m inverse mod n will exist because this is the guarantee because g c d of m and n are 1. So, that is that is that is guarantee that inverse will exist. So, this, this inverse we can calculate by extended equilibrium algorithm. So, once we got m inverse, so then we choose t as uh, we choose t as like this m inverse b minus a obviously mod n. And if we choose t as this, then it will also satisfy uh, equation 2. So, then this is this is satisfying both equation 1 and equation 2. Okay. Now, we just calculate this by the previous example. So, our equation was x is congruent to 3 mod 5 and x is congruent to 5 mod 7. Okay. So, uh, so basically this is our a, this is our m, this is our b and this is our n. Okay. So, now the question is how we can get the solution. So, what is m inverse mod n? So, m inverse mod n is basically m is basically 5. So, 5 inverse mod 7. So, 5 inverse mod 7 is basically 3 because 3 into 5 is basically for 15. So, 15 mod 7 is basically 1. Okay. So, now t is basically m inverse. So, 3, so m, this is m inverse b minus a mod n. So, m inverse is 3, what is b? b is 5. So, 5 minus 3 mod 7. So, this is this will basically give us 6. So, the x is basically x is basically a plus t into m. So, 3 plus 5 into 6 33 mod m into n. So, that is 35. So, this is the solution coming from this. So, this is this is the Chinese remainder theorem for two equations. Now, suppose we have general case I mean we have uh, many equation more than two equation then the question is how we can solve it. Okay.
So, that is the Chinese remainder theorem. So, Chinese remainder theorem. I mean, this is the general form of the Chinese remainder theorem. Suppose we have R equations x equal to a 1 mod m 1, x is congruent to a 2 mod m 2, x is congruent to a 3 mod m 3 dot dot dot, x is congruent to a r mod m r. So, suppose there are r equation in the system, we have a system of modular equations and there are r equations and here we have some conditions on the same. So, this set m's are mutually uh, co prime. So, this m i is where m i's are pair wise co prime. So, that means, uh, G C D of m i m j is 1 for all i not equal to j. So, that means, m i is co prime with m j for i not equal to j. So, that condition must be there for this system to have the uh, solution, not only solution it will have a unique solution under mod of this product. So, we have seen for 2, now it is a general case and after that we will take an particular case for 3 and we try to solve that. Okay. So, suppose we have this system and then it is Chinese remainder theorem is telling this system has a where this then the system has a unique solution earlier solution was 33, because if you take any other solution that will differ by the 35. So, if you take mod of that product 5 into, so this, this will again give us 33. So, that is why it is unique, okay. because a, a, every time if you take any two solution they will be differing by that product, I mean 7 into uh, 5, 35. So, that means, if you take uh, that solution mod 35, it will give us 33. Anyway, so this system has a unique solution mod <coughs> under mod m, which is basically this product m1 into m2 into m r. So, this system of equations has a unique solution uh, under this. So, now the question is what is the form of that solution? We will just write the form of this solution. The form that unique solution is basically x equal to uh, summation of e i m i y i, i is equal to 1 to r. So, a i we know and what is m i? m i is basically this capital M by small m i basically in this product the m i is missing. So, this is basically all the elements other than all the primes not primes all these numbers. So, m i minus 1 then m i plus 1 dot 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 m i. So, m i is missing here okay. and y i basically this m i inverse mod m i. So, this is the solution of this system of equations. Okay. This system of equation has a unique solution, this is the solution. Okay. Now, the question is how we can <coughs> execute this. So, we will take an example, we will take three equation as two equation we have seen how we can tackle. Now, we take three equations and then we will try to get the unique solutions by Chinese remainder theorem. 
Okay, so let us take three equations. Suppose x is congruent to 4 mod 29, x is congruent to 7 mod 30, x is congruent to 8 mod 31. So, this is three equations, r is equal to 3 here. Okay. So, now the question is how we can solve these equations. So, we will use the Chinese remainder theorem. So, we know the solution for general case, but we will derive this. So, how to solve? So, this is equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So, we have seen the example where we can handle two equation at a time. <coughs> so, what we do? We take two equation at a time then we get the solution which satisfy that these two equation. Then we will take that solution along with this equation, this is, a, this is also two equation. So, we will take two equation at a time. So, we first take these two equation, equation 2 and equation 3 and we apply that technique a plus uh, t in t uh, a plus t m and t is equal to that form. So, if you use that, <coughs> so this is A, this is B, this is M, this is N. So, the solution will be basically, so for that we need to find out uh, A, this is M. So, for T we need to find out M inverse, M inverse mod N, N is 31 here. So, if you calculate this, this is basically 30 can verify this. Now, so T is basically if you remember that form M inverse this is M, this is N, this is A, this is B. So, M inverse B minus A mod N. So, if you just put this value M inverse is 30, B is basically 8. So, 8 minus 7 mod n, mod n basically mod 31. So, this will give us basically uh, again 30. Okay. So, x is basically then a plus t m. So, t we got m we know. So, x is this mod m into n. So, this is basically uh, this is 7 plus 30 into 30 mod. So, these two, if you multiply these two, we will be getting 930. So, this is basically coming out to be 907 mod 930. So, we have the solution for these two equation. So, these two equation will give us the solution x equal to 7 mod 3. Okay. So, now we have a equation this 4 and we have equation 1. So, now again there are two equations and we can easily verify because these these were, were mutually co prime. So, now this is also will be co prime through this. So, now this is m, this is n, this is a, this is b. So, now we need to solve uh, these two equation by the similar fashion and that should give us the solution. So, let us try that. So, so now our equation is, now we have uh, this is one equation and another equation we have the first one x equal to 4 mod 29. So, this is now A, this is M, this is now B, this is N. So, to get the solution you have to find out M inverse. So, 29 inverse mod. So, this again by Euclidean algorithm and we know these two are relatively prime. So, inverse will exist and using extended Euclidean algorithm one can get this this is the inverse. Now, t we can calculate t is basically uh, m inverse into b minus a. So, 4 4 9 into b minus a b minus a mod 
n mod. So, this will give us basically if we calculate 897. Okay. So, now x equal to what? x equal to a plus p m mod m into n these two. So, basically uh, it will be 4 plus a is 4. Now, t we got this and m is this. So, 97 into 29. So, this if we calculate this will give us 26017 mod this product. So, this is the unique solution we are getting 29 into 30 into 31. So, this is our x. So, this is the way we solve this system of equation. If you if you have three equations of this, the uh, so we we take it two, then we solve it, and with that solution we again uh, solve with the this equation. So this way we will continue. If you have more equation, we will continue this process. If you have another equation, we will just take that one with this, and we will get the solution. So that will give us the solution for the Chinese remainder theorem. Thank you.